Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon, this glorious sunny day. What happened to that chilly morning? Proverbs chapter 2, verse 3. Solomon writes these words. For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. For if you cry for discernment, there are many people, when they're in a hole, they really don't know how to cry. And cry really is to speak from the innermost being of those tears within you. It's to cry out in that innermost place. And what does Solomon say that we need to cry out for? Well, he says we need to cry out for discernment. And the word discernment has a variety of meanings, but they're all to do with understanding, insight and revelation. It's about the ability to know. There's the gift of discernment that Paul talks about in Corinthians uh, chapter 12, when he says there is a gift of discerning of spirits, that ability to be able to know what kind of spirit is operating in at that moment in that time and the gift of being able to cry out for discernment is the ability to be able to cry out to God to gain the gleaning revelation or revelation understanding of what is right in that moment in that situation what is happening here that I can do something about it well the something about it that you don't know about all of a sudden becomes available to you because you do know about it. Because the discernment, the crying out for discernment is really getting, as it were, the knowing of what to do in that moment to bring about a solution to the problem. And that sense of resolving problems is really what Solomon is all about. And so when he says this, that we have understanding, it's the ability to know something and to be at peace about the revelation that we know. And when we know something, we don't have to be frightened anymore. We don't have to be anxious anymore because we know. And know is, in a sense, the pathway that leads to the point of peace, this peace that surpasses all all comprehension, all understanding. When you know something, and the knowing part of knowing something is your innermost being. It's the spirit of who you are. And when your knower knows, then that's when you really know. And your knower will only ever really know when you have understood what it is that you're seeking to understand. And that comes through you crying out. And that means speaking out what it is that you need to know and then giving God the opportunity to speak into your ears so that your ears can reveal it to your heart. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of the evening. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.